o'clock, Town of Granby Conservation Commission. Uh, it is November 13th, 2018. And, <clears throat> excuse me, 7 o'clock, building permits and Board of Health applications. Um, I don't see anybody here for that. Is anybody here for building permits? Did you want to talk to me? Uh, in regards to the Eagle Scout, do you want to hear that real quick, or how do you want to proceed? Because we also have someone from Westover Metropolitan here tonight. <clears throat> any building department? Any building uh, no permits? Building. No. Ian, come on up, please. You guys, come on up. Good to see you both. Come on, grab a chair. Come on up. Uh, Ian sent me uh, some uh, photos of his uh, project out at uh, Aldridge Lake, or actually, it's on Bachelor Brook, Brook, isn't Brook. it? And he wants to close out his project. Sure. I think he needs a sign-off form, but I suggest yes. that the commission send a couple of members out there to observe and take their own independent photographs to uh, verify uh, that the work was done. Let's see. What, 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 if yeah. you want to go ahead and make a presentation, that's yeah. fine. Okay. So we went out there three times. Mm -hmm. So the first was on uh, June 26th, and that was so June 26th. So these were the people that came on the 26th. Very nice. And then, um, so this was like the, I, I planned for the 27th of the day, where we brought out the chainsaws and the big machinery and stuff. So this was the day that we kind of went out. We marked the stuff that we wanted to cut. Mm -hmm. um, we that day you marked the things that yeah. were going to be yep. cut. Okay. Yeah. We moved the um, like trash and yep. not natural debris. Now, were these folks from your Boy Scout troop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. most of them. Okay. Some of them are family. Okay. Um, some of them are friends. Yeah. Okay. So that day you just marked the trees and pulled trash that you mm -hmm. could by yeah. hand. And then we moved stuff that we could move by hand, yep. like smaller branches and stuff. And I would imagine the next day yeah. that's... And then the next day we had um, more people, more adults come. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think the people who operated chainsaws were... I'm sorry, I can't say that out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Brian the Page, Ernie Burns, Fran Van Cor, Johnny Johnson, sure. and Dave Goodsell. Mm -hmm. So That's good. Yep. So they operated the chainsaws, and so... That day was spent clearing up as much as we could. So what we did was, I had, I told them at the beginning what we were going to do, and so then we split up because we had, I think we had four canoes, I think, and a couple kayaks. So we had three people in a canoe, one person. So there were three chainsaws that day, and so we had at different sites people would work on the with the one chainsaw, and then there'd be. Um, three different parties, I guess, that went, mm -hmm. that went out. Um, so what did you guys do with the logs that you cut up, Ian? So we dragged them on, off onto the shore. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so the trees that you cut up were out in the water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> were, were they left, the logs, on the shore? Yeah. Okay. And I think you have some photos that yeah. document that. I can, yeah, I can go check. Yeah. And then the last day, was so we didn't completely finish all of the big stuff on this day. There was one more um, spot where there, uh, there was one tree that had a couple big branches. So uh, this day was August seventh, so it was a little bit later mm -hmm. because uh, we had to wait for people to be available and stuff. Um, and so then that day went out and we finished the one thing that we not finished this day. And then there was one other thing that we were concerned about because it was a really really thick tree, but it had been there for a long time, and there were like plants growing off of it and it was halfway submerged hmm. and so we looked at that and we said you know what we, so we left that one there so it is still there and you have to kind of get out of the brook to bypass it but we didn't think we should do anything to it so we left that one sure so, so now the the stream is so, somewhat navigable mm -hmm. with canoes yep kayaks. except for that, that one, one spot. section yeah. Yeah. yeah let's go through your photo set sure. and just review them. okay so so this is some of the before pictures. I mean, it's, <laughs> the after pictures is it's kind of hard to tell. It's just pictures of yeah. plain water, but well, that's why I was hoping you had taken before pictures. Yes, and yeah. So here's pictures. here's yeah. the before pictures. Yeah. So okay. um, I guess I can just go past these. I think I might have shown this to you. Yeah, you do the before and the after yeah. right next to each other. That so way these, can some of these, see what oh, you let's did. see, some of these things like this. We marked the trees with some marking tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
N. Okay, so this is there's a couple like during pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a whole lot because I didn't. I took my phone out one day and I had a bunch of pictures, but that was a bad idea. <laughs> it was in it was in a plastic bag, but it's still water soaked through. So oh, it, yeah, so all those are gone. But there there is some from this is the day when it was just uh, the 26th, so no chainsaws yet. Okay, so here are some of the after pictures. So this is this and this are the one big spot that we ended on on the 27th and then we went back to on the 7th of August. Hmm. Oh, you made, these are old cuts though. Yeah. These are old ones. So these are the fresh ones here, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. This one, I, oh boy, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, I, I believe- was the water uh, here? It was, so, there's been so much rain that it actually got a lot deeper in the past like a couple months. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so it, it, when we went out there, it was no more than maybe up to here. But I mean, we didn't. We tried not to go up, like right in the middle of the river yeah. as much as we yeah. could. Yeah. Okay. I think let me see if I can find what this picture relates okay. to, like what the before one is. And the, the scenery does look a little different because we went out and took the after pictures in the fall. So mm -hmm. it does look a little different. But I think I know where that is. Yeah. That one is. I believe it is. Oh, okay. So you can kind of see it here. I just had a very good, very good picture. So it's after this. So there's a. I don't know if you know. There's an old mill. I think. Yeah. So this is right after the mill, and then there's a curve in the river. Yep. And after that is is this, which is. That previous one, right? Yeah. That later one. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. This one. Oh. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So this one is there's the same mill again, so we cut um, so that you can go under it. Yep. And you used to have to actually get out because there were rocks there. But now it's so flooded that you can just you go right go down right through it. Which is nice. Um, so that's that. Let's see. This this okay, this spot is um let me get my this one is right oops I it is or right here about Oh so you went on the other side of border also? Okay. Yeah, so we went yeah. So that spot is right here and this is where there was one person who didn't want us to work on that property. So we had to avoid that position. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to avoid so, so that. You, all right, which is fine. I'm glad that you okay. had inquired about that. So that's good, that good. spot. This is one of the earlier spots, I think. Yeah. And this one this was kinda of crazy because we had That's this one. So it, it looks kind of different now, but yeah. It's, oh, okay. And so this that's buried in the this mud. This is yeah. Much like almost, but no, but that's, on, just, that's just mm, pond scum. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this is this is right as you get to the um, pond. Mm -hmm. So. So now it's pretty much navigable for the most part. Yeah. Okay. Except for it's it's a little bit difficult at the part where we couldn't do it because it's. Yeah. And so you have to kind of you know, squeeze your way out. Yeah. And then at the one part that we didn't touch. But other than that, it's, yeah. Very good. Uh, I don't know, Mandy, you have any questions? Or? Actually, if you want to see it. I have some videos and pictures sure. and stuff on my phone. We went out there and I was like, it's going to be hard to tell where we are. So I took, I took, um, some pictures to try to get myself, give a reference to myself. Okay. Good. So, and there's a lot of repetition in here, but that's just because I didn't want to get any bad pictures. Okay. So here we are. This is where we're starting out. I guess actually there's nothing in there. That's just me talking. Okay. Here was one where, this is early on, I think there used to be, uh, let's see, no, I don't think that's anything actually, okay, um, okay, yeah, so this is, let me go to my map, 
this one is. You're good at computers, right? <laughs> yeah, you, okay. See if you can tie into that on the blue. Can I do that? Unless you want to. Yeah, if, if you can do that, that'd be uh, great. Where's so my the map? folks at okay. home can see it. So on the map, this is, there's a bend right before you get to um, Porter Street. And so that is right on this curve around here. And there's a bunch of little stuff and some big stuff. So this is just now, I don't think, if it loads, uh, technology. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I can just move with my finger. OK. Oh, it's going. Yeah. So this curve in the river is now clear, which is really nice. So what street is this here? Porter. This is Porter Street. That's Porter Street. And where's Easton? Easton, Easton is, is right, right here. here. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's the. All right. That's that branch. That's near the Porter Bridge. Yeah. Right. And you live right here, Ian. Right. Your house yep. is right there. Okay. I got you. Let's see if I have any more. I think most of it is in here, but if, if there's a few that I missed. Um. So the activity room did it. Did you, you didn't have any uh, excavations, obviously. There's no, no. soil removed. No. Stumps were left in place. You had a big tire. Did you get the tire out? No, we actually we left the tire in. We weren't. Yeah. We, it was it was really in there. Embedded. Yeah, yeah. 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 Were so, there any other um, like metal or other debris that you? No, took out? there was some there were some plastic pallets, but they were they weren't embedded. They were there was one that was kind of actually. Oh yeah, there was a hubcap that was just on a tree. We got that down. So you got all that stuff out of there. That was metal, that's true, yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. Bring it to the recycling mm -hmm. center. There was some plastic, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So I think I think that's it. I, I could dig through these some more, but. Yeah, yeah that's fine, that's fine. I, I don't think, I don't. Really let's look at your sign off form that you need oh, yeah, and sure. let's just see what the conditions are. P personally, I think a commissioner or two should probably just do a quick walk around. Particularly okay. if we're signing a form. So there's this form. Well, it's just an official form. Yeah, let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. So this is the um, hmm. page you have to sign, and then it goes through this whole process. So this is yeah. the entire workbook. There's the proposal, the planning, and the actual mm -hmm. carry it out phase. Mm -hmm. So there's the um, project plan, and then I think here a little ways is <sighs> Set it? No. Here we go. And then there's a report. So there's these three pieces. Okay, so what, what document do you need signed? This one. Let's, let's it see basically what, just says let's see what it says. Yeah. Let's read it. It basically says um, funding summary. We don't sign that. It was all all of the you know, canoes and stuff were donated by the troop and everything. Well, so we're the beneficiary? Is that what yeah. we are? Okay, so it says Eagle Scout Requirement 5 is stated on page 4 of the workbook. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, I that because that's not part of the actual workbook. I can pull it up if you like. is to fulfill those mm -hmm. um, separate parts that's mm -hmm. set in the So this is page four of the, the book, is that mm -hmm. what this is? Okay. Well, I mean, that's included in the... In the yeah, so it just says plan, so at, while, a, so you're a life scout now, while a life scout plan, develop, and give leadership to others, in a service project helpful to any religious institution, school, or your community. You must use the Eagle Scout Leadership Service Project Workbook number 512-927 in meeting this requirement. Okay, so where's 512-927? Is that that? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. All right. It's kind of small. Yeah, I see yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so this is just... Oh, so you're calling this Bachelor Brook. Okay, so there's your contacts. I got you. Okay. 
Did Mr. Brooks go out with you at any point? No. Okay. Yeah, no, I talked to Kevin about it. I thought Kevin was kind of supervising it. Nobody got hurt, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you did have a nurse on call just in case, but no, it was all good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you bought three pieces of plywood for this? No. No? This is the example that oh, I okay. Okay, oh, so you did buy, you did... Uh, well, we didn't, they they just tell you to um, outline all the things that you're going to use. Oh, I see, Just okay. to give them an idea of what you're going to use. Yeah, so, so you budget. But, I mean, most of these things, like... If you look like the chainsaws and the canoes, are, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah I and get cost, you. But in reality, if you had more rent, yeah, yeah, it would yeah. Cost you if you can yeah. generate a budget, mm -hmm. right, right, and then you got your logistics. Yeah. I don't see any issues at this point with you. Well, let's just let's just I think we got to do due diligence to review this. That's good. Bears make loud noises. Yeah, That's yeah. true. My neighbor has an air horn that they use. And a bear came up to the house the other day, used the air horn, the bear took off real quick. You guys wore life jackets out there? That's good. <laughs> yeah. We had my mom's friend as a professional photographer. Oh, good. That's so good. we had her come out, but it was it was drizzling a little bit. Yeah, so that's she fine. Her that's camera. okay. Uh, so we, yeah, that's fine. That's oh, fine. Take that first. You want to take a look at that? Oh, you, you're all set. Yeah, you're all set. You guys are all set. Okay. Browsing as you want. Okay. 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 Uh, I, I don't see an issue. I'm pretty good with <clears throat> not going out there myself. If you guys wanted to go out there, uh, it's just basically cutting and removing uh, trees that were obstructing the nav navigable stream. Mm -hmm. So at this point, a canoe can go from point A to point B, go around point B to point C. There's a couple places you have to take the canoe out, obviously, which they recognize as a potential hazard or safety that they weren't going to cut it, which was a good thing. And they and one neighbor objected, so they stayed away from mm -hmm. that property. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, okay, Amanda, you good with that? Yeah. All right. Well, let's. let's I the, move we sign off okay. then. Second, I guess. Yeah. All in favor? So I'm oh, put, hi, Patty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hi, Pat. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Town of Granby. Patty, do you want to go out there and look at it? What is it? This is the, the tree cutting at um, Bachelor Brook up by Porter Street. Oh. There's a Boy Scout. Oh, they're there. there. Okay. <laughs> We're not giving them, like, you know, 24, right. 36 yeah. inch bars. Yeah. And, you know, Lily Big John Surratt. Well, they're Major <laughs> Concom's abbreviation yeah. conservation yeah. commission. So. Okay, very good. Good luck, and uh, you should. This is your last step, I'm guessing. Yeah, so then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. excellent. Now, on your college plans, are you planning to West Point? Um, if you are, I've, I've got someone. I've got someone that, that you might want to talk to if he is interested in going to the military academy. Okay. Let me know Thank at you. the appropriate time. Oh, he does. Okay, so you got a, you got an in then. You're all set. Okay, good, 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 good. Very good. I used to have a cousin that taught there at West Point. Really? Now you can go all the way from North Street, all the way to Alder Slate, in case anybody. With a connection. Good. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Very good. Thanks again. Good to work with you on this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so we're continuing on with our building permits and stuff. I asked, uh, I, I contacted Westover Metropolitan today with respect to the Manny Marquis issue. Yes. And Are you from Westover? He is. Okay. Come on forward. Okay. Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Ted Hammond. I'm the airport manager for Westover Metropolitan. Okay. Uh, did you have a chance to go take a look at the site or no? I didn't, uh, but I did refresh my memory. Uh, this has been issue ongoing um, since 2017. Let me ask you a question, Ted. Did you give Kearsarge Solar 
permission to fill in that ditch that was out there? Um, no, I did not. Okay. Um, did they ask or did they just do it in your opinion? So, I was notified by someone, I believe, from the Conservation Commission or uh, an engineer and consultant, environmental consultant. Oh, yes, I, I think we know who you mean, yes. Uh, I, I apologize, but his name is in here somewhere. Uh, these are emails from 2017. Was his name Mr. Lotti? It was. Yes. Michael? Yes. Michael Lotti. Hmm. Uh, so he reached out to us on behalf of Mr. Marks. I believe his name is Manny Marks. Um, uh, there was also a gentleman named Mr. Brooks. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, who was involved? Basically, they uh, actually Mr. Brooks was the consultant um, who reached out originally. Ludlow Conservation um, had some affiliation. Told us about the issue um, and asked us to take care of it. Um, that was. Um, <clears throat> On or around March 29th. March 29th is when I have the issue supposedly resolved. March 6th, on or about? Uh, what, what year? What year? 17. Okay, 2017. So the, when issue, I had initial so the new issue was resolved on March 29th, and that's the day that I have the photos of what was being done on the property. Okay. Yeah, so um, I contacted a gentleman named. Uh, Andrew Bernstein, he's a managing partner for Pure Sarge and LP. Uh, he's our point of contact. Um, <clears throat> I was, wasn't involved with the lease sure. uh, portion of the, the project, but I was able to uh, go through those documents and determine that in section Article 3, uh, subsection B of our, our lease, there's a clearly states that the BC is responsible for all storm water management systems and um, any applicable permits. Um, of, of which they obtained. They obtained their, uh, right. their notice of intent, yes. So, um, and on the 29th, as we mentioned, I had an email confirming that uh, there was some sort of fix done and that Mr. Marks would go on the fix. Okay, so March 29th, 2017. To today. No, hold on. Let, let, me, let me do this succinctly. March 2017, some sort of work was done on site to, I guess, alleviate some sort of drainage issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think Patty, myself, and Wenda went out there and viewed it during construction. I think there was a company, T&M Construction, out of Springfield that actually did the work. And I believe they put in an 8-inch eight, eight uh, corrugated N12 uh, style pipe. So that apparently alleviated the immediate concern at that point in time. Now, when that, when that drain pipe went in, to essentially replace the the uh, drainage way, was that pipe, in your opinion, Mr. Hanna, was that considered to be a permanent fix or a temporary fix? Uh, I think Mr. Bernstein, as I mentioned, who's responsible for the account, indicated it as a temporary fix. Okay, so, so Mr. Bernstein is the owner, the uh, the shareholder in Kearsarge Solar, correct? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever met him? No. Okay. Have you talked to him via telephone? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. He was the person I Hold on, Ed. Hold on. Okay. He was the who the okay. So back in March 2017, there was a there was a immediate flooding issue on the Manny Marks property, which was alleviated by the installation of a drainage pipe, which supposedly was temporary in nature. Um, would it surprise you to know that the drainage pipe is still in place as it was in 2017 and has not been restored to its original configuration? Uh, the fact that I'm here, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so at this point, I think, Ed, the, the commission has a couple questions, and then we're going to open it up to the floor. So go ahead, Ed. Well, this, this is really not a – this is an informal discussion just to make Westover Metropolitan aware of this issue and that uh, the next step is we're either going to do an enforcement order uh, to Corsage and Westover Metropolitan to get the corrective measures done, whether that's through a, a NOI – uh, or something or through the enforcement order, however this gets done. Um, I, I don't really have any questions to ask. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I don't know if the other commission, I, again, because it's really not a public hearing at this point. Well, no, I, I get, again, this is informational. Well, I think I'll open it up to Mr. Brooks because I think Ms. Mr. Brooks represents Mr. Marks at this point. So, Kevin? Hi. Kevin, grab a microphone if you would, because you're in live, yes, live television. Mike. Yes. Mike. Mr. Marks could not be here tonight. He was in a car accident this afternoon. And I guess he's at the ER right now. <laughs> so I, that's all I know about that. Uh, Manny's big problem was that his trees were being fluttered out. But I guess we've discussed that already. What I've provided you today is some pictures. Uh, 13th of November and the 25th of October. Of course, I picked a great day to take pictures today. Sort of a worst case scenario. And um, the real issue here is that a stream was filled or a drainage ditch was, was filled. And I have a picture of that. Yeah. So there was a, uh, a drainage ditch that went from uh, the Marks property uh, westerly and then took a southern turn towards uh, East Street. Mm -hmm. The base of the, the waterway was probably two to three feet, depending on where you were. Uh, you can get, get some appreciation of the size of the drainage ditch. Uh, looking at the 25 October picture, which shows Manny's ditch as of that day. Um, and it was, you know, a substantial ditch. Um, the prior owner, and also you see a picture of that on, on um, the 13th of November, there's a, a ditch full of water. That's what was, that was the east-west ditch, and then it went south. Yeah, I up if oh, you I don't have time lapse. It's just oh, you don't have the I was just trying to get an idea of the site, because okay. I'm not 100% oh, okay. familiar with this one. Okay. So what's happened, of course, is the 8-inch the pipe that was installed really is not doing it. It's not cutting it. And... Um, even today, you've got water going down the pipe. You've got water to the to the east of the access road into the solar field, and it's it's very soggy and, and wet there. It's just, of course, today is the worst case. I grant you that. But this year, really, it, yes. We're five inches yeah. short of breaking an all-time record. Yeah, uh, the base statistics just yeah. how many inches this year? I believe it's forty-nine. Yeah, it's, we're going to sell some of this to California. I think we're going to beat it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, then, so that's at this point. We, I'll let Kevin one, 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 There's a picture I gave today, uh, 13th of November. Shows my auger sitting in the, uh, in the um, junction of the 8-inch pipe and the 12-inch pipe. In my estimation, that should have been a catch basin. I mean... It looks pretty full today. Now, I'll grant you that many times it's not near full, but the maintenance on that little <laughs> structure, you know, as you can see, it's full of, full of growth right now, and that, you know, it's hard to keep it clean. Um, and I'm not sure anyone's assigned to keep it clean. I think Manny sneaks over there periodically and pulls a few weeds, but, um, but it, it should have been a catch basin, in my opinion. 
and I'm not an engineer, but I've seen enough uh, drainage issues that anybody that's knowledgeable <laughs> would agree that there should have been a, a catch basin when you had a 90, 90 degree turn. So, what else can I share with well, you? Well, the question is, that drainage way, was that classified as an intermittent stream? Yes. Or a perennial stream or a non-entity? Well, we had some discussion with that when, when Manny filed for his culvert, and it was determined that it was a, a, a seasonal waterway. And the reason is you're being fed by a wetland upgradient. Yes, so, the so. prior owner got a new toy, a bulldozer. He went nuts out there and dug a pond and dug some ditches and was having a wonderful time. That used to be a cornfield. <laughs> I mean, and it was not a wet cornfield. It was a pretty standard issue cornfield. And the prior owner sort of blotched that all, if you will. So there's a couple of issues here. Of course, the one that we're most concerned with is Mandy being flooded out. And he's probably got, uh, oh, on the order of 30, 30 fruit trees he's planted. And he's losing them, you know. Some trees like a lot of water and many don't. <laughs> There's a, a, if you're a cypress, you'll like lots of water. But he doesn't have any cypress trees. These are apples and pears and peaches, plums, yeah. So that's, that's his big concern. Um, so, I think, uh, so at this point, are we going to do an enforcement order or how are we going to proceed with this? We've, so, so Kevin, you're, you can tell Mr. Manning, we've been in contact with Westover Metropolitan. They will be addressing the issue with Grisage or themselves and come back with a solution. So, I, I think. Ted, did you talk to Mr. Bernstein lately? I have not. Do, do you think if you just have, give him a verbal to resolve this without an enforcement order, what do you think he'd do? I, I think that uh, the last time that came up, um, as I mentioned, you know, March 6th, they, um, they were notified, not a local company. Um, by the end of the month, they had a fix, temporary or not, um, in place. So I, I think that he was very receptive to it. Um, the language as far as our side is very strong. Okay. Uh, and that's okay. what I told him last time. This is okay. You know, so, and and I, I can enforce it just as the less or you know, less or so I think that Okay. Does this require an RDA or an NOI? How do we proceed with this? Well, if you do it as an enforcement order, we can Kev, when we did the Fugler enforcement order, you didn't have to get an NOI together with that. So I think we can do it the same way. We can do an enforcement order with no NOI, or we can do an NOI without an enforcement order. That's if they, they file an NOI. Yeah. It, it's probably yeah. prudent to have something. Oh, it's probably prudent because something on record. The thing is, they're, so someone's going to have to delineate the ditch and determine it's seasonal and then say, oh, yes, the stream crossing standards are in force yeah. and all this business. The enforcement order is still going to have to do that. Oh, yeah. Again, if you read this, this is the self contained enforcement order for Fugler, and it had very little language on this. Very, very little language. It was this four page document and these three paragraphs that Casey had written up at that point. So this whole area was delineated. Yeah, I know. 2010. The mapping's pretty good there, and it's yeah. a pretty easy call out. So, the easy way to do it is probably through an enforcement order. So the question is then, who is the subject of the enforcement order? It sounds like Bernstein. Yeah, I mean, technically, we own the property. Yeah. He leases it. So. Or we do what we I did think with these guys. We're supposed to do send both. An enforcement order to, to both. both. Yeah. Just we so could do the both like we did last time. Yeah. Um. What, is there a time frame on that? Or? I'll work with you on that, obviously. Yeah. obviously. Especially uh, if they're receptive to work with us. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. and there'll just be yeah. setting time, a timeline. The, the solar farm has been a uh, touchy subject, as I'm sure some of you have. Oh, been, no, I don't know. Uh, we purchased through the FAA noise program, mm -hmm. um, which purchased some of our homes tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, that program has since, since gone away. Oh. Uh, 
like 50 houses disappeared. Well, yeah, but, but the, the, the houses that remain, there's no more funding for them. Oh, oh, to buy out additional uh, homes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize uh, that. And that's because the noise signatures at the, at the base of Trump. Right. I, I know they got the, the, the noise reduction units on the yeah. C5s. So um, that was purchased through the noise program, and um, it, the intent of that was to give back some of the you know, tax dollars that were lost from the homes that were there. Um, so from our side, we have teeth in our, you know, in the language of the lease, um, and we're a community development organization. That's how we started. So we will uh, push them and enforce our own legal action if, if they don't move on it. Good. Um, I think that his response last year was pretty quick. Um, the fact that it's temporary, not permanent, where yeah, okay. and I and I think realistically, I don't believe anyone's using that maintenance road to do when they do the solar panel inspections. I think they actually go up the the neighbor's road. Yeah. That's what yeah they do. yeah. So it's if that's solar. the case, there's really no need for the the road with the ditch. So just right. restore it the way it was. Everyone's happy. That would be great. Ted, appreciate you coming there in. Was a, there was a. They must have had a conversation before my time. They must have had a conversation with folks about the. I thought so. Yeah, I think there were there are other folks on the commission that aren't on the commission now that um, uh, essentially uh, um, allowed them to do that sure. without any permit. Oh yeah, I'll take your recommendations to the Supreme Court. Okay, that's wonderful. Great. I appreciate you. Thank Ed, you. Thank you for oh, calling him. Having thanks him for coming. We appreciate that. Very very yeah. good. Very good. Kevin, are you satisfied what we're going to yeah, do? Yeah. The here? only issue that I might raise is the fact that the ditch was a wetland. It was filled, and there was no replication then. I mean, you can fill up to 5,000 square feet. Well, part of the enforcement, you go down to uh, Mickey Marcus's and buy some of his uh, wetland mix, and you're good to go. You know, it's, it's already seeded yeah. itself. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> but that, 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 no. Nah. So, somebody may take issue with that. But. Okay. Okay. I don't think Manny will. I think he just wants to solve his problem. Solve his problem. Be because again, I think I think the, the entire commission believe that that was a short-term, temporary operation at the time of construction of the site. And again, now that the site's stabilized, uh, it's time for that to be taken out. So that road should be removed. Is that the recommendation? Uh, not necessarily. I don't know if you need to remove the road. I think just restore the ditch the way it was. In my opinion, maybe the other commissioners would take offense. Right. And, and, and you may want to get a bigger pipe. Yeah. We'll discuss that with, with either the, the enforcement order or the notice of intent moving forward. Okay. Yeah. You know, the 8-inch pipe doesn't get it. Sure. <laughs> you know, we'll put, put the two-foot pipe in there. Okay. Yep. And you replace the ditch. <laughs> The apple, the uh, the lease holder will either I, have to engineer it I, and and come back with a properly sized pipe or some type of restoration. So so they're, they're pretty much on notice. So we're counting on you to let them know that something will be coming or file an NOI with us. Yeah, absolutely. So. Upstream, when we filed for Manny for his his uh, crossing, the culvert crossing, that was a two-inch pipe. Just for it for me. Oh. Two foot pipe. 24 yeah, inch. Yeah, 24 diameter. inch pipe, yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, Ted. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. And uh, when should we expect that? <laughs> well, again, we're, we're kind of short on clerical staff, but I would say within the next uh, if, next month. Yeah, the next month. Yeah. Or you could have them contact us so we can kind of start. If, if they want to take a proactive it. start and get yeah. it design together because they know there's an issue now mm -hmm. and yeah, try to get to get ahead of us template. that'd be great I can I can I'll email yeah, but the, the something will be coming down either yeah, but just just keep that as a working template Kathy, you, want send you, you want to talk to you want Bill that'd be fine you can call me up Bill so, Shaheen sure, of course that'd be fine Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ted. Right okay, thank you so much. Oh, okay, very, very Thank right. you, Ted. Thank you. Okay, thanks for coming in. Very good. So, 7.30. I know. So, 7.30 uh, appointments. It is now 7.41 for public hearings. Uh, I'm going to go in this department.
continuation of an RDA filed by Mass Department of Transportation Highway Division to see whether the work depicted on plans referenced is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to property located on West Street, Route 202 in the town of Granby. And uh, I see someone here for Mass Highway. Yes. Come on up. I'm sure you Oh, Keith, I've got your flash drive from last oh, week, so you. there you go. Thank you very much for this. Um, Did you want to put the flash drive? Bill, did you want to use the flash drive to project on the screen or no? I don't know if that would be easier. Amanda would have to do that because she's the one to tie it in. Uh, did you want to use the flash drive to yeah, project? We project on the screen? On the screen, like. if that makes yeah. it easy for you? The board, I think, is actually easier. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, so okay. That's fine. Yeah. If, if we need to go to something, we okay. can yeah. easy. Only thing, Keith, I ask is set it up so that uh, Alex can see it with the camera. Okay. So he'll probably shoot that with the camera and then uh, we can go from there. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. Fill 
um, the pedestrian demand wasn't as high. And so what we did was we obtained a waiver from the department to construct this portion of the project without sidewalk. So um, as I said, there's another location where there's a similar situation. There's wetlands up against the road down by the uh, Wingate facility in South Hadley. There's a, a crossing, two crossings there as well. This one's a little bit more specific because it does take you on the easterly side of the road and across the Stony Brook Bridge. So in this case here, I don't know how long you can see it, but basically there's no sidewalk. We're just holding that existing edge of road, resurfacing to it, replacing the guardrail and just the slope work up top, um, and new sidewalk on the southeasterly side. And this enabled us to be able to do the work without any wetland fill uh, throughout the project. And as you make your way east and northeasterly, you um, up by um, up by the, the Stony Brook Realty. There's a um, another crossing. Just, oh, the 48 inch culvert, yes. Uh, no, th this is a pedestrian crossing. Oh, a pedestrian crossing, yeah, okay. Um, just south of High Street, so uh, which is where the pedestrian demand picks up mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So from this point forward, there's sidewalks both sides of the road to the end of the project. Um, what I just colored up here are the, uh, the wetland delineations performed by Ecotech um, out of Worcester. And then the, the at exterior represents the buffer zone, the limits of the buffer zone. So where we have our, this port of this, you know, first section of road within the, you know, the limits of Granby, there's almost a continuous buffer zone within the project with, a, you know, a few gaps in the, in the um, in the roadway where there's actually no, no buffer zone. Um, the yellow indicates the limits of the riverfront. Mm -hmm. So we have riverfront produced by the, the Stony Brook itself. And um, I should say also, the Stony Brook Bridge is being maintained. That was another thing we had to look into and justify not having the sidewalk on the bridge, which has already been built and widened once and to actually widen it again for another sidewalk uh, wasn't structurally feasible without a full reconstruction of the bridge. And that really is way beyond the scope of what was in This really is the intent is to maintain the road um, itself, to, you know, the actual pavement structure of the road. So um, as you're saying, yeah, if, if we have the riverfront um, on the westerly side. Stony Brook or South Southern Side, and then the entire stretch of road from the easterly side, northeasterly side of Stony Brook, is is within pretty much entirely within buffer zone, with the exception of this little piece here, and within riverfront, as produced by this little tributary to uh, Stony Brook, and that runs. Continuously up till we have a 48 inch uh, culvert crossing. And this is one location where we narrowed up the roadway so that we could get our sidewalk in front of that culvert, I'm sorry, in front of the head wall without having to remove or touch that head wall. Um, so we're just proposing a riprap slope with guardrail down to the toe just outside of the wetland with a new point of discharge outside of the, the wetland as well that would have uh, because there's a low point right there in the road. So the typical low point connection is four catch basins, two on either side of the road that discharge into um, what would be a, a riprap, a modified rock riprap splash pad, and then ultimately into the, um, the, 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 the waterway, which is an intermittent. Um, the other thing that we've, we've talked about that we've tried to do with this project, which is fairly unique, is um, these what we're calling sidewalk flumes. 
which is an opening in the curb. It's like a little mini bridge in the sidewalk. Because we run into this a lot on our projects where um, because of this healthy transportation policy, we have to put up side, we have to construct sidewalks. And in order to construct the sidewalks, you need a curb, which cuts off country drainage. So to try and maintain some of that, we've proposed these little, basically just a little mini uh, paved waterway with a, with a grate on top to allow the water to continue to flow where it is flowing right now at various points along the road without having to rely upon any sort of conventional drainage out there to back up the system, particularly at the low points where we obviously if there were any, if there's snow or ice or anything trapped in there, we wouldn't want to have to rely upon it. So it's, there is conventional design built into it. But this is something I'm really anxious to see how this works because, as I said, it's really frustrating to be working on these projects where you want to try to maintain the same sort of uh, drainage patterns. And when you, if you have to put it in a closed system, then you have to collect it all both sides of the road and find out discharge point, which isn't the same location that it's going to now. Um, I think, uh, well, uh, we're also, these red lines here indicate the limits of the compost filter tubes that we'd be proposing at the toes of slope for, at all locations adjacent to our uh, resource areas. Um, and I think the, the last meeting, one of the things that we had discussed was that the um, there's, there's buffer zone work, no permanent impact, or no impact to the actual wetland, but we are working in the riverfront. And it's since followed up with the Department of Transportation. There is an exemption for uh, maintenance work within the riverfront that uh, includes repaving, reclaiming, provided that you're not widening the roadway, which in this case, we're not widening the roadway. The, the, the gray area, I guess, is the sidewalk because there's no explicit definition of what the sidewalk is considered to be. But I, I, I think it's our contention that it's in the spirit of the exemption that the roadway is being maintained within the right of way without widening of the actual road itself. Um, and then we walked the job. His last friend, uh, yes, Amanda and yeah. myself had uh, walked the job courtesy of Keith, gave a great tour. <laughs> and I think we agreed in principle with everything that uh, was delineated out there. Yeah, I think that and I had looked into the intermittent stream, so I was going to ask if you had seen that, but you mentioned it before, so. Great. Um, do you have like pictures so I can get a better idea of what those flumes are that you're, ta you're talking I, about? Or like... I only have a construction detail. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that was included in the plans. I can certainly provide that okay. to you. I'm not sure if that's in the plans that we made part of the RDA set. Yeah. Um, I got a feeling like probably just didn't look at the plans themselves. So what we need to yeah, I can email that to okay. you. I was just kind of curious because they go, it's kind of to replicate the country drainage, I think you were saying. That's the intent. So how big are they? Or right like now it's, it's four feet wide okay. by the, the, you know, the width of the sidewalk, so yep. about six feet. Okay. And then it's just discharges into a modified rock. Oh, okay. Basically like a that was kind of what I was wondering if it, it goes into something yeah. stabilized. Yeah, <laughs> if you had more room, what I'd love to do is, is like a, some kind of like a, some of the stuff that you need, yeah. me, like a tree filter or something like that. Yeah. But we just don't, we don't have the layout space right. for it. So right. yeah. just getting this done here is, I think is, I'm hoping is going to be a positive step for projects like this where there is but yeah, we have to put it in new sidewalks. Yeah. But it is kind of better because at least it is going to be getting some treatment instead of just the country right. drainage and it's broken right. up. So it's not all one thing. It concentrate in one spot. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's. Pretty much it. It's a fairly simple project. Um, we had a public hearing, a design public hearing which goes with the 25, or what we call 25, or preliminary submission in May over at uh, Grand Beach, well, it wasn't, it's not town, the senior center, the, the um, community center by Stony Brook. 
pretty well, the project was pretty well received and we've gotten acceptance on the right of way plans. So right now we're in the process of preparing our 100% pretty much final design package and our layouts package, which all the work done on private property has to either get a permanent or temporary construction easement depending on what's being done. Um, we got to have a categorical exclusion from the Federal Highway. Um, so but it's got pretty good momentum right now. Um, and it, it, with, with any luck, the, I think the construction would be probably most likely the spring of 2020. It takes about a year to go through the whole right of way process. It's, it's crazy how long it takes, but it is a Imagine, pretty yeah. long. It's, yeah, there's a lot of legal. I have another stormwater question. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what's the current status of our like stormwater infrastructure along that stretch? Because that is Mass DOT right. property, right? It is. So is everything pretty much at like current standards, like four foot sump and all of those things? No, I, I would say <laughs> when it's it, it's a combination. Okay. Um, the, certainly the grades are definitely the current bicycle safe grades. Yeah. Um, any of the infrastructure that we would be touching, we would be bringing up to, to current code. Okay. With the exception of we, we probably wouldn't be building in a deeper sump yeah. in a structure that, that we're not removing. Yeah. Any new structures would have deep sumps. So really, what we're trying to do is avoid having... You know, no, I know. It's just if you're already doing things and there's a couple that could be improved so oh, yeah. that you won't need to... They won't fail in like a decade. Right. Especially that's, with the bigger events happening. and Right. You know. That's part of the obligation we have. And yeah. Typically, and it's just going to depend on funding where we'll have the, the structures cleaned, all of the yeah. existing structures, clean pipes and uh, catch basins, manholes as well as part of the project. Keith, in South Hadley, it, it seems to me as though a negative two would fit your uh, your RDA request. Negative three is a buffer zone, but you are in the riverfront, mm -hmm. so the negative two says you would be working in a resource area, namely the riverfront, but you wouldn't be uh, dredging, filling, or altering the area. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd say negative two might fit. I'm just curious, in South Hadley, what did they issue you, a negative two or a negative three? I have to go back and check. I okay. honestly, I'm, I'm not sure which, you know, like I know we got a negative, but I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. all right, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. But again, I'm trying to read the language amongst the flipping of the on the uh, on the file here. Okay, fair enough. Well, any other, Patty? Any questions? No. Any other questions from anyone in the audience, Kevin? You're going up to Pleasant Street or before Pleasant? Street? Before Pleasant Street, there is another project. There's actually two projects in the works. I can't speak for what their schedule is because we're not doing them. But there's one down the South Hadley end at the Lyman Street intersection. I think that one's ahead of us. And then there was ours. And then there's another project that where our sidewalks are going to meet their sidewalks. And they're after us. I know that. Um, so there'll be continuous sidewalk from all the way, you know. Because they've got they surveyed all the way up to the to here to the common. Oh. So I Preliminary work. Yeah, I actually would guess that might even be another project, that, that another corridor project up here. I, I didn't think that, that, that that was more of an intersection job at uh, Pleasant Street. And then there may be another one. Yeah, because they came all the way up to here. Yeah, this is, that's a pretty long run. Uh, oh, it's like two miles. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're talking about redoing the intersection at school and tool. To that's a different project. Yeah, yeah that's different. Different. nothing to do with this this filing. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have any questions to you guys. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward. No. <coughs> I move we issue a, a negative two. Is that motion? Sure? Second. And, and you've included all your your silt fencing and everything. Uh, Keith, are you going to be monitoring? With respect to this flume, which is kind of a nouveau technology, are you going to be uh, doing construction monitoring to make sure they build it correctly? Yeah, well, what happens is the DOT provides resident engineering services that's on site constantly, which would always be a contact point of okay, contact so, for you. Okay, so you'll be working with them to and, bring them and, up to speed yeah, as to what, what your intent is. I try to sneak out as much as my boss will let me to get out and see these projects. And then if there's any problems, that's when we're really brought in. Otherwise, you know, it's really more our own 
initiative to get out there, but I do like to get out and see these projects. Fair enough. Constructed. And in, in, in particular with the phones, I do want to monitor. Yeah, I do. I really, because I want to see this uh, get some traction. Well, like you say, you want to take a bunch of detailed photos of it, and then the next time you present it to a commission, you'll say, here's what I Yeah, this is, in some ways, it's almost like a pilot. Project. Yeah, when you do cutting edge yeah. stuff and you don't have any photos, it's kind of hard to convey that to the contractor. It, it is. is it's been the hardest thing to try and uh, convince people of their value potentially because there's no history. Has that been done on Route 9? Route 9, they just did all new sidewalks. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think know. The I would think center. that that was a lot of country drainage that they yeah. cut off too. It probably was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Next time I draw up, I'll take a look. Yeah. And that's still in the works up there. Yeah, they're still working on it. All right. A so lot of wetlands up that oh, yeah. section. Mm -hmm. So you made a mo you made a motion. There's a negative two on the table. Any second? I second. Okay. Uh, it, all right. Patty seconds. Okay. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So that's it, Keith. Thank you very much. Very, very good. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so we'll type that up, send it out to him later. So. Keith, could you um, uh, give me a flash drive with the with that oh, yeah. final plan set on? Yeah. Like. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Oh, oh, okay, this is the new one. And this is the one you just gave. Oh, oh no. What, what are you, are you looking well, for? I, I was looking for the final set. Is that the final? No, actually, we're still developing it. So oh, okay. We'll All right, well, let's wait. We'll wait till you yeah, get the final like set. So just give us a hard here. copy. A hard copy set yeah. will be in, good with in that. In concept, nothing's going to change. Okay. Yeah, not okay. Much sure, but there's, there's always, there's okay. Did you download those files to the town? Com yeah, actually, I do have it right here. I th actually, I do. I have because downloaded it, so we're okay. So if you do get another set, we set paper set was submitted with the RD. I don't see it in the folder. If there was a paper set submitted, um, I think it was a full size set too. Probably. I, but if you need anything, please just. I prefer electronic copies, but well, I, do. I don't know if that would. Yeah, I got it right here. It's you, dated nine twenty. What's the file size? It's. Um, it's only 28 megabytes. It's not that big. Is that emailable? Or is it too big? Uh, well, you'd have to do Dropbox, and I'm, yeah. I don't like Dropbox. I don't either. I hate Dropbox. You, you know why I don't like Dropbox? Because it commandeers your computer. Correct. I found that. My computer was running at 100% one. You know, I'm up at like 6 in the morning, yeah. the thing's running at 100%. And it was Dropbox slowing, moving files around. Slowing it down. Yeah, it was, it was running in the background. Uh, yeah, if, if, if you can send the PDF through the email system, either break it in half, yeah. it, you know, and then that's that's fine for me. Is it NYC? Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you so much. I guess whatever whatever the submitted package for the RDA is really what we should have. I know I can't email because I tried that. It's just it's too big. Right. Yeah. But the plan, what makes it big is there's all kinds of graphics. I know. Yeah. You know, pictures and all that stuff. So this, but the plan said I know I could email to you. That's that that's fine because if that was submitted, we got it. If you need it, Ed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I got it right. Well, I just want to make sure Kathy has it so as part of the record. I she has a hard time. Time this too. If Kathy has, we get we got it. We got electronic keys. Yeah, that's, thank you. Just get lost, okay. and we get a hard copy. We're golden. So let's continue on with the uh, public hearings. I think Tim Castellanos has a drainage issue, doesn't he? Yes, that's why we're here. Let's bring. Tim let's. Up. Well, we have this. Hold on, hold on. We still have public hearings. Um, we'll just go through these real quick. Seven thirty RDA filed by Tom M. Thomas to see whether the work depicted in plans referenced is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to property located at 120 North Street, known as Map 9, Block E dash B2 in the town of Granby. Is there anybody here for the uh, Mr. Thomas's project? Kevin, are you working for Tom Thomas? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to make a mo let me see. I'm going to make a motion to continue that to. What is that? A septic? I don't system. know. Oh, that's a Stover project, and Bob didn't come, so it must be a leach field. Okay, that's fine. So I don't have anybody here for that property. I'm going to make a motion to continue to our next meeting for November 27th mm -hmm. at 7:30. Two mm two. -hmm. Okay, I have a uh, continuation of an RDA filed by the Department of Conservation and Recreation to see whether the work depicted on plans referenced is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act with, with regards to property located on Green Meadow Lane in the town of Granby. Anybody here for the uh, D Department of Conservation and Recreation? That's the DCR project over Green, here. Nope. I move we continue. Second to uh, November 27th at 7.30. Keith, thank you. Good to work with you. All the best. I have uh, 745 continuation of a notice of intent filed by Mike Pio, PC Development LLC, for the pur proposed construction of a residential subdivision and associated stormwater management structures. The roadway will require a wetland fill, an open channel crossing with regards to property located on Carver Street and known as Map 16B, 15, 4, and 16 in the town of Granby. Anyone here for that? I understand they filed for their uh, 401 right. water quality. It's still that. pending. That's still, still pending. pending. So I make a motion. That's not exactly. They're coming to us and they're going to make the 401 part of their whole thing. Well, the, from the my understanding. The old 401 is going to be. Yeah. Right? Uh, the new 401 of the old 401. They're kind of going to be getting some leniency because it wasn't there. Okay. Oh, thing, okay. And it's now owned oh, by the okay. town. Oh, and I got we you. actually have sway on what we want them to do. Oh, sure. So okay. they're going to be coming in with us, but it's going to be hmm. part of their hmm. whole did, thing. Did, and you the, did you talk to the EP about it? Yeah. I went on the site visit with. Um, oh, you went with Fowlis? Yeah. Well, oh, good for you. When, when was that? That was, was a couple weeks ago. Oh, I think good. it was the week before oh, good. the Friday good. meeting. Good. Who was yeah, it, who? I think I gave you guys a little. A little update. Yeah, yeah. No, who was that? Who was at that site meeting. visit? Who was at the site visit? Um, it was their wetland scientist mm -hmm. and um, Mike Pio, I guess, and oh, okay. then David Fallis, and I think there was one other person as well. Oh, I can't well, I'm glad you into that. But yeah. Was, was engineer Frederick. Um, I was it Keith? Or... Keith? Not Keith Hogan. Keith Morris. Morris. Don't remember. I, okay. Anyway, so okay. Good names. It's been several oh, good. weeks now. Good, wonderful. But, I'm um, glad. I'm they glad. will be coming to us. Oh, good, wonderful, wonderful. So we made a motion to continue it to 7:45. So we have administrative duties and old business, but if we have uh, someone, yeah, let's bring. The other, only thing I think is really pressing is we're really gravel do the gravel permits. Tim, come on up. Patty's going to recuse herself. Okay. So, Tim, I did a site visit over at the Castle Linus uh, last weekend, and there's a newly formed pond in their backyard. And, Tim, why don't you explain what, what the situation is? Um, not sure about the whole diversion of the, the water and all that. I, I, from my understanding is years and years back, there was some sort of underground stream going up, up or down the Amherst Road in the back between the behind the houses and uh, I guess it was filled in over time or something and uh, it usually comes to the surface a little bit here and there in the springtime but uh, what is on the address 61 61 pleasant okay. yeah. yeah yeah she's going to call it up on the screen now with all the heavy rain we've had this year so far it's um there is what we thought was a pickup pipe on the edge of my property and either the town's property or Duncan Donan's property, but that the parking lot side or two, towards 202, and it's not either flowing in or draining out, it's just collecting. Okay, so, yeah, if you could zoom in just a touch, Amanda, that'd be to great. To which part? Uh, right where the crosshairs are, actually. Yeah, that's. To that back area? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Very is good. that yeah. Yeah. yours or is that? That, I mean the back. The not. back is technically, it's a weird line, like you can see our property. Yeah. So our property. Okay, so the lines are off as they typically are. So where the flooding is, is all, all the way through and also into the neighbors up the hill. Okay. So this is where the water collects. Yep. 
and then that's where our property is, but the ditch actually, the, the pipe that we see is... It's on the edge of the, it's just inside the edge of the parking lot. It's just inside the edge of the parking lot, but we don't know if it goes anywhere, it goes into anything. Did Kevin enlighten you at all on that? He said that that parking lot was done sometime in the early 90s and that we could look to see what the plan was regarding that and the direction of the water. Mm -hmm. And that there is also um, some sort of a drainage further back um, near the condos, but they're filling in, they, they're, it's about grass clippings and filling in, so there's further drainage up the hill, so it's creating a dam and then the, the water's moving. The problem is, is that our water, it's you know, fully in that area, and now it's moving into the Amber Street, like it's going up the hill. Mm -hmm. And it's moving out closer towards Amber Street. Is the pipe plugged? I don't really know if the pipe goes to anything oh, because the 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 Oh, this is right actually, there. I mean, oh, this is oh, this cool. Um, I've been trying to figure out drainage issues in my, my yeah. own yard. Yeah. So, so you so, superimpose the topo map over that. Yeah. So he said that when, the US, um, when we called, uh, oh, right. the road, he said that there is no record uh, of any pipe. Because yes, yeah. that used to be part of Amherst yeah. Road. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, like a, there's a gray street. area going on there. Yeah. That's that's part of the layout. Yeah. The parking lot's in the layout. Yeah. So so that's kind of where we're stuck as to wondering because it does there's nothing to do with any drainage from the highway department because they've they looked into it for us and the water when i measured it from the tow last week it was about seven feet from the dumpster <laughs> and several years back uh it's probably about 10 years back then a school came over to the park and entire property and he looked into the pipe back then too and he gave us the same answers. Oh, there was there was no record of the pipe yeah. existing. existing. So, yeah. ABC, no. the play. As long as we've been there. As long as we've been there. Okay. And we've been there since 2003. And so they said the that- was built before you got there. Yeah. Probably, Kevin said that it was done six, five, was it? Sometime in the 90s, he said. So it would have been maybe, maybe as much as 10 years before we owned the property. So, but, it, it appeared to um, the highway, they said it looked like it was a dry, dry well, I think, as I said. Yeah. The problem is, is that there's a lot of issues where we have to keep cleaning the trash out of it. <laughs> and so what's the status as of today? Is it worse than when I was there last it's week? It's a little bit higher. It's a little bit higher. Oh, God. Has it topped over the pavement yet? Not yet. No. Does it, if it tops over the pavement, does it make it to your yard? Line of sight, he said that it will hit their driveway before it'll hit us. So that was a So you check the inlet of the pipe and it's not blocked. I haven't been can't, in there. Can't yet. figure out how to get it. It's kind of a little cold and a little deep. And, and it could be dangerous. So, so what, have that's. You, have you talked to the uh, butter and see if they would resolve the issue? Because it seems to be the pipe is in their parking lot. I, I made a phone call to him and spoke with them directly. and. Uh, he, yeah, he was going to be looking into. He's going out of town or something for a couple of days. What did he have to say? He same said, thing. He said that it's not the it's not the city. But it's within the right of way. That activity is within the right of way of Amherst Street. So who's responsible? I don't know. So, <laughs> well, that was if you if you considered even just looking at the records to see where the record was. Yeah. Because the problem is, is it's back loading. So if you see hit the, our neighbor's property, and the question is who's responsible, it's back loading. And so you see how all of our lots are? Yep. Well, yeah. let me ask a dumb question. What is, what is the yellow enclosed circle? What does that mean? That's a wetland. That's well, that is a wetland. Those are the wetlands, okay. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to be able to see underneath. I got so you, okay. this is the wetland that has our property. That's why all the trees, no matter how bad they are, we leave them alone. Okay, okay. And we leave it alone, and then back here, his subdivided, all of this is flooded, mm -hmm. and you can already see the water moving in here. So there's either a backup in this wetland area here, mm -hmm. because there's there's been statements about people putting their clippings in the back where they shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Now I have no proof of that. I'm not going to say what, where it's not, you know. But the clippings are coming in. That's a well-known practice in the town of Granby. Believe in me. all towns. Yes. Oh yes. Um, there's also this where my cursor is on the thing, but it, it looks like there's a connection. So maybe there was a culvert connecting also that's been disrupted or something like that. 
either well, a flow channel that you know used to it be flows there. south. I think we're talking this this this. This is coming down. Yeah, but this that, is all exactly. part of it flows if this way. is all backing up and there was a connection here. I don't have permission to go look to see if they're backing up or to see which way it's going. I just can see water going all the way up through here. Yeah. So there's standing water in this complete area here. This guy's we're big huge maples like a little and it's going right up the hill, which is a little concerning. <laughs> So it's, it's never been like that. Yeah, I think it's the first. same statement when, um, when Dennis had stopped five years ago and he, he, he had looked into it with some pretty good detail for me, 10 years ago even. He said the most alarming thing is it's not supposed to flow south to north. And it was back then it was doing the same on a much smaller scale. Yeah, because I, I thought the uh, flow uh, from the north Right. Cross 202 and well, work its way out. I figured the, right. the, the catch basin in the parking lot would flow under the highway over to the detention area at Cumberland's. It does not. It does not. It does not. Wow. Unless yeah. they pushed it through, which they probably wow. didn't. So the, the trick is, is we were looking to see what I, you know, I mean, the only thing I could think to do is to research to see what was in designed or put through. Yeah. Because I don't, we don't know where the problem is. Is now we don't, I don't even know how to mitigate the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the room. Oh, yay. Some fun. But that's the only concern is that it, it, I mean, if we continue getting water at this rate, I don't think it will, I mean, it'll just go over into the parking lot, which will be fun. Yeah, it's not a property. It's hard to say because right now it's, I'm going to guess it's about a, maybe a foot lower than the crest of where my, we're flat and then we drop down into where it's, what all that drainage area is. And it's probably about maybe eight inches to a foot or so just away from coming Us. over the top. So we're just watching every well, I'm just trying to think with the remedial, we had to do some remedial work. So. But we, we're not at the point where we even know what to do at this point. So like you say, no one knows where we've got to research the files, Patty. Uh, uh, did you just say talk to Dave Rogers? Or he just yeah. said no, that I it's not town. No, he was wonderful. He came. Okay. Yeah, the same day. Yeah. He then, yeah. Yeah. No, he so was, was like, super helpful. He looked on the he looked on the GS. He says, "This is private. This is a private. How do you say it? I, I just told you that records or something. No, because it wasn't done by this. It wasn't done town. done by, by the town. He doesn't yeah. have records, and there isn't anything publicly stated there. So anything that was there is private, yeah. even though it's technically public on the verge of public land." So we're in a weird gray area. Some sort of well, the thing is, if you look at all those property, there's got to be some sort of a right away because guess what? They all have the same division. Like we see on our properties, that one piece of land is parceled separate. Mm -hmm. All of the properties up the hill are parceled that way. The only thing I can recall is Alan used to have a gas station there. And when you pull, yeah, when you pull the tanks out, maybe there was some residual oil product, conce conceivably, and they didn't want to run a pipe from that general area over to the brook, so they figure if they kept everything on their own property, like a, a, it, it I would, mean, yeah, a, a big dry well. That's right, but the thing is, is, the dry well's been consistently filled, of not course. not from our side either, yeah. with stuff because. Timmy and I go in, what, several times all the time, pulling out junk yeah. and paper and trash and debris from the dumpster mm -hmm. and other um, lawn waste, which doesn't come from us. Because mm -hmm. I, I, it's against the law. Well, like it says, I think doing a, a, a camera survey is the way to go. Right. But that's going to run you a couple of thousand dollars for that, that too. Much. Never know. Tom doesn't have a camera, does it? I think Charlie used to charge, well, he used to charge 50 cents a foot, but he's probably a dollar a foot now. But then he got yeah, mobilization. It's, it's going to be a $1,000 bill anyway, minimum, to I've, come I've, down for half a day. I've done it for like four Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just that strange, contested, it's that weird corner to our property. But can somebody do a survey like that for a pipe that isn't on their property? That's not our pipe. So we can't well, do that. that. Curious who owns. The areas no. around, so no, can we don't own the it. pipe. That's the problem. If the pipe even goes anywhere, or if it's just an illusion of a pipe, yeah, it could be literally going nowhere. It just might be an area where they created a space. So you spoke with the landowner, and he's receptive to at least 
he yeah, talk and say look into his side when he, but he was going out of town for a few days yeah well let's see what he has to say yeah. maybe maybe he does have the information he needs. Like you say, obviously, the worst comes to worst, wait for the water to subside, and then next, the next dry period, whenever that is, do something about it so this doesn't happen again. So the question is, is that doing something about it, then you're technically in a, in a line of violating, you know what I mean? Because we're not, if, if, the, if the fill is basically being filled in and slowly coming down our way, and that catch basin is filling, then technically are we in a situation where we're filing for repair or of... It's that tricky area. Now you're going to create more damage to an area. Like we don't even cut the trees in there, or do anything in there. We leave it alone. So, because it depends. I mean, if it's a drywall, it's maintained in one way. If it's something else, it's an engineering generally involves removing either material or trees or clearing something out. Right. Well, that's why we're. I think we're at. My only concern is, is that where is the? It's the where, the fill's not coming from. Like where is this? Debris coming. Oh, yes. from. So that's kind of the issue. Is, is it? Yes, in the snapshots of it recently. Yeah. Um, I might have taken recent. It it's kind of like a beautiful. I have beautiful lake pictures. It's Lake Castellinus. Um, thought about launching my boat this week, but it's the wrong season for swimming. I think. Um, it, by default, it's getting there. Um, so... That's the corner of our property in there, so the corner goes... So there's the dumpster. There's the water right there. Mm -hmm. And then par their parking lot to the where the water is. Wow. <laughs> That's the, the lake. Water goes all the way up yeah. that way. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty All the way that extensive. way. Yeah, it's not a little bit. And we've had it in half that high. It's never. I've never seen it get this high. I've never seen it this 15, high. 16 years we've been there. It's usually like it's just a. Unfortunately, what it happens is we're getting more and more yeah. rain. Yeah. Right. You know, today well, we had an inch, inch of rain today, which is. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're stalled here. Well, usually it's like a. Uh, barely remnants of a stream that you could see not up to now it's a lake. It's, dry. it's usually dry with leaves but then the other thing is it could just be a matter because we've had so many trees and we don't clean them out it just could be the decaying matter over time just leaving it in there so it might not be anything except the maintenance but the question is, is what am i maintenancing because nothing's ever been filed from us. i i don't it's not filed from us i don't think devoid of uh, leaves But then again, has everyone noticed the stream running along 202? We've got that too. The one, the one coming from farther up the road, yeah. heading down towards you. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Um, right into a wetland, and it's yeah. It's a flow. It's a full flow, and there's the that property. Um, there's a guy up mm -hmm. here. He had been wanting to put in a new culvert, but it's the right of way of the town. Yeah. So I remember there had been some issues yeah, with that. Yeah. Because right now it's just eroding oh, it's everything. It's a, complete, it's a complete flow. You, no, I know. That means it's just like it's loose soil and it's flow and it's erosion and yeah. everything's just washing into the wetland. Yeah. You know, for all you know, that could be a big part of the problem. Because I feel like this wetland has to be a t connected to something. Well, the question is where is it connected? Well, I so I, I know. The parking lot ended here. In 97, Patty, the okay. parking lot only extended over to here. This was uh, vegetated in 97. You see that? Oh, wow. And here's your little area. So watch right. this. So we'll go ahead. We'll go forward now. That's 01. They built that. So that was built between 97 and Yeah, 01. but look at the way it moved, though. Oh, yeah. I'll you see back. how it's not like that, though? It's straight. Like, see right yeah, there? Yeah. So it's 90s. It hasn't been repaved through the years? Well, that's what... Um, Resurfaced, rather? Yeah. But that wasn't there. So. Not recently now. Uh, no. Last year... Now, see that little... The town did come in and repair a whole... Like, right, a, a but that's the same divot that still exists. Oh, okay. So much closer to... But there's something weird about it. Like, yeah. Yeah, look at that. 
think the parking lot collapsed at that spot. Yeah, there's there was some excavation done. Look, there's a bunch of yeah, they, du- they dug they yeah, there's a bunch, a bunch of, of road cuts here back in fourteen. And there, there was something here prior to the ATM going in. Now see that? That wasn't just for the ATM. I bet you they put a dry well in there. See that? That was in 2012, Ed. You see that? That's a big cut. Yeah, that's a huge cut. No, no, that 2012, wasn't that when he had the problem with the erosion? There was a year that he had a problem with the parking lot, and they had erosion, and there was a problem with um, collapsing of their dry, the thing. Um, so it could be there's something that's happening you know it could have been that maybe there was a pipe going in there or out and the pipe collapsed possibly mass highway sometimes has construction drawings for the uh, area i can look on their survey page and see what they have is it on the internet oh yeah is under layout sometimes they have the construction drawings oh, okay yeah the, the question is, is you're looking around so we're looking at the cut like probably five years before we own the property 97. DOT website. Yeah, they've changed it. They've moved things around. I mean, yeah. Every time you get used to the web page, they change it. Into yeah, it's like the different, yeah, different area. Better. Web development. Yeah, it was better. So, but I mean, that's what we're looking. The only concern we have is the fact that it's not like it's not affecting our property per se. I mean, obviously, it's our property, but nothing in like our lives. Like this, the neighbors are flooded. It's pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the people on Amherst Road are. Not they, they won't even be able to like go into their backyards yeah. and so uh, right. So the head is there's something in here. And we're not sure. But that's not your property? No, our property ends on this. Just, okay, so whose property is it? Just noted. Duly noted. So you'll have to talk to the landowner next door, see what you get information from him. Yeah. Who are the Howlands? Uh, keep next an eye on it, take pictures. Yeah, we've been, mo- I've just been monitoring the, the flow and we've gone up another, I think, Inch, inch, maybe two. Mark a couple of trees with some ribbons to maybe see, see how the water goes. A little staff up gauge. Yeah, little gauge. staff gauge. Yep. Yeah. Take notes. You know, rain yeah, two the inches today. Next came asked up. If we could do something, he's more concerned. I mean, it's literally, it's more threatening to his. So, so every rainstorm, the backwater just keeps extending more northerly, huh? Yeah, it's weird. I've never seen it do that. Well, it could be all silted over too. But I, I bet you the flow is really to the south, but the backwater is going to the north. But it's the strangest flow I've ever seen. It shouldn't go that way. I know. I don't get it. It's not natural at all. Yeah. Well. I'm sure you'll monitor it in a diligent no, fashion. My only concern yeah. is that I have a, if, if, God forbid, it does go over, we really get even more and more rain. It's got the, the dumpsters right there. And, mm. Is that your dumpster or theirs? Theirs, but it's still where they have food and yeah. junk. And they, they, that would just be gross. Mm-hmm. It's just gross. It is gross. <laughs> I used to work at Dunkin' Donuts. So I really don't really want that going in there. Okay. Well, just keep monitoring it and, and yeah. maybe put a staff gauge like Bill said that would give you an idea of what's going on. Maybe you know one prop one side of it and the other side and mm-hmm. just kind of monitor it. You know, mark it as rain events and Well maybe I'll just put some sandbags where <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do to protect your property. Well the only concern I have more than anything else is not my property, it's the fact that we have uh, naturally the back we have an unpaved surface it is permeable but it's gravel and then that's just going to go f- like wash, right? it's going to wash and then yeah. that'll make things worse and that's just putting things where they don't belong mm-hmm. so that's our concern is we don't want to create any i mean we keep our trucks and everything there and it goes it just goes and my worry is that is the back behind you know our neighbors also going so it's just kind of an unusual amount of water Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Tim. So I guess we'll just keep going. Let's post the next meeting for November 27, 2018. I could have sworn we canceled meetings in December this, this year. No, we usually have one and then we yeah, decide if we want to cancel it or not. Yeah. We can have one meeting in December and that's it. And but, well, what we normally do, we never have two. We, but I think Wenda wanted to have zero in, in December this year. I thought we always had one at the first one and never... Well, that's what we're doing this year. But the problem is, is if we have NOIs or RDAs, we have a timeline to, to, yeah. to either approve or it, continue. You know, my theory was to leave the meeting... Well, we, again, we're already at the end of... Next meeting is going to be... Uh, yeah. 
we, we're going to have to have these two meetings, the 27th and the 11th. That's just the way it is. Okay, so the 27th at uh, 7 o'clock. Approved minutes for October 9th, 23rd, and November 1st. Do we have those? Um, I have something here. Hold on. Oh, it was November 1st. Yeah, I've got something right here. Stand by. Uh, minutes for November 1st. And stand by. Really do. October 9th. Let's see. Whoops. To be paid. We have a lot of bills, but I don't think we can pay them. Yeah. Darn. Okay. Got a lot of college bills I got. That's about it. College? Oh, yeah, I got a kid in college already. Great. Oh, God. I take it. Yeah. It can't be that long, and I realize it hasn't been that long. I mean, this is technically high school. Or I said, oh, this is high school. You can never save enough money for college. It's. I do not see any bills in here to pay. These are old things, so no bills to pay. Uh, financial accounts. Oh, you do? Okay. New England Plant Diversity. I'll print it out right now. And where's my other one? Move forward. I'm going to tweak this for about sure. five minutes. And then I'll have to email this to somebody. Okay. Well, like Hannah was saying, it's the wettest on record, or near, nearly the wettest on record. It's amazing. We had two-thirds of the days in September and October, we had rain. Two-thirds of the days. Two-thirds of the days I wasn't working. That's crazy. So, I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah. I have so much work piled up that I didn't get to this year. It was like, we called this the, the um, March that never ended. Yeah. Because it's it feels like March. I'll send you a file, okay? okay? So hopefully that will go through. And then you can print it out. We'll look, we'll look at it. Yeah, we can look at Are it. We, uh, hmm? Are we, uh... Hmm? <clears throat> I gotta learn how to use that goofy thing. Yeah, check this out. That's mm -hmm. 113, mm -hmm. May, 190, 113, 190. 
I'm taking money out for the Dufresne's. Dufresne's dam repair, 29 grand. Dufresne dam repair, we had 99. Oh, they did, oh, they did, yeah. I thought that was coming out of the other budget. Well, I'll go over it in a second. I'm not, when we're off, we're not, when we're off camera. I'll we're not privy to you. this information, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, when we're off camera, I'll talk to you. Or we're not, we're not advised of the situations. Yeah. So we have a uh, uh, bill <coughs> for yeah. Amanda. Or you want I, to I can't seem to. Do you want to postpone it until next meeting, or, or do you want to just? Is not well, I'm momentarily unemployed, so I would kind of like to. Yeah, if you can print. It, I fine. know. I just. It's, well, I'm going to go up and see Mr. Printing. Martin tomorrow. I don't know why it won't connect. It should. You've got a hard wire to it. I know. Is it on? Yeah, she just turned it on. It made some noises. It's on. It says ready. Come on. Where are you? Alright. Okay. Can't really make a motion, I guess, until you print it out, man. You, want to, you yeah. can come back to it later if you want. Yeah, I'm going to send this to Amanda right now. Well, she can't print. She, the, can't, she can't print. print. She can't print anything. It won't print. Yeah, it won't connect to the printer. I don't, I don't know why. Well, let's, do, let's do one thing at a time here. All right, GCC4. Oh, here it is here, okay. Yeah, it's still saying save as PDF. It's not recognizing it. Yeah. Okay, all right, so I'm going to send but that. I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. Oops. I believe so. Amanda. Okay, so, so that's off to there. Yeah, so that's fine. All right, so there's no subjects. It's just a, okay, so I sent that. Right, so now, it's just not liking it. Yeah, this Mini splits. Those are new. I have no idea. What? I'm guessing it's heating and air conditioning. Oh, oh that's fancy. Yeah, those are those split bits of yeah. high efficiency units. My brother wants to get one of those for my mother's house. The old house it doesn't have proper circulation, so you can't use windows. That's what he wants to get her. Still on one window? What are we doing? What's that? They use a lot of those in Florida. Oh, yeah. They don't use, like, we have window things. My like, brother laughs at me. Ha oh, ha. Unless we don't you have there. central <laughs> air, even the central air systems, you gotta have duct work yeah. to make it work. Yes, they don't have duct They don't need that, right. Mm -hmm. so. I was like, oh, it's a, it's a southern thing. This is the first year I thought about doing it. Air conditioning. It was a hot, hot summer. God, it was bad. I have a house fan. I've never needed anything more than a house yeah. fan. And and a window just for you know the one or two weeks. Yeah. I mean, I think this is it, but it won't. It won't it's like to actually do things. Let me see if I have, I don't know if I have the driver for thing. that. I might not. Maybe I have the driver for that online. Why is it not doing it? Because it's there. Yeah, Everything's uh, there. You want to uh, have Kathy print up the more minutes? I know, I see it. Yeah, let's and give it let's give us another two or three minutes here. Technical difficulties. It's like whenever you jump, call jump, for jump. something that the computers are always down. Mm -hmm. you for text yep. Whenever I call them payroll, they're like, hold on, our computers are slow. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Oh, are you going to trick it? Well, I'm going to see if I can print this one, and maybe it'll just decide it's going to start working good. again. I don't think that's it. That's mine at home. That's what? Mine at home. 
There you go. You got it. Ugh, well okay. done. Is that That's weird. Minutes? Yeah. Yeah. But I won't um, the bill. Yeah. Wait, but I'm just gonna save it to my same, desktop, and then it might work. Try. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to print from the web. But I've done it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get fussy. Oh, I hate technology. Yeah. Where did it go? Yeah, actually, I like that new PDF generator ah. that comes built in with. Great. Like that one. Use one of those times. Oh, I can, uh, my house, I do. Not yeah. the office. I still have. Well, you, I like seven. I got a lot of sevens. I got one XP machine. I got oh XP gosh, virtual and online machines. He's in love with And them. I've got two ten machines. My 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 autistic son knows everything about every operating system. But really? Glitches really? Them. Yeah. Can't say hello to you, but he can explain That's to you the right. difference between each system. Listen. There's a demand for folks like that, I'm telling yeah, you. Yes, seriously. I'm not kidding you. He knows every you operating you system. You can look at your phone, tell you what model it is, you can what a version of Windows is on. I got to cover every time. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh. Which, yeah. which version is this one? Well, this one's, this is the oddball. This is 8.1, which is that. like one of the worst yeah. ones ever. So, MACC conference, and then okay. we live on plants, okay. of course. Okay, so I have two uh, invoices here. Uh, First one is dated 10 15 2018. Uh, Bill to Amanda Smith, Grammy Conservation Commission, for the fall conference. A total of $110. So, this was uh, educational purposes for the commission. When, when was it? The conference? Uh, it's 10. Yeah, it was very October recently. Was it, it was oh, a, I guess it was a month October ago now. 15th. Were there any good Did workshops? You, um, I was trying to get all of my. Fundamentals done oh, so that good. I can oh, finally good. Oh, good. check that oh, off. Good. 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 But some of them are good. Writing order yeah. subconditions. Make a motion so. on this invoice dated 10 15 2018 for 110 to uh, remit payment to Amanda Smith. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. for education. I have another invoice here dated uh, October 19, 2018, uh, bill to Amanda Smith, Grammy Conservation Commission. Uh, this is for the MS4 permit stormwater discharge for municipal so sources. And uh, this is, uh, has a balance of zero here. Oh, uh, I did the wrong one. Okay. I did go to a free Yes. Time. Take advantage of those whenever. So you did go to this one. Was, was I there did, a charge? Was there a charge on that? No, one? that was free. Oh, well, thank you for going. Appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> no, it's it's the stormwater discharge permits are, are really uh, MS4, the combined sewer stormwater. Yeah. Yeah. Grise. Yeah. <laughs> CSOs, combined sewer overflows. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're doing. Right so there. no other bills. Uh, I do have one more. Okay. This is the the one I meant. To print. I ran through the mounding analysis for Crise. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, actually. I have an invoice here dated uh, October 11, 2018, uh, to Amanda Smith, Grammy Conservation Commission. This is uh, a class with respect to New England Plant Diversity, Session 1, uh, $46. Uh, what was that class about, basically? Um, it was, Tree identifiers for wetlands? And it was, it's kind of starting out all understanding how to identify kind of everything and then understanding the names, like how all the names have changed recently mm -hmm. and why they've changed because they've become more correct, whereas in the past they were using fake knowledge and it kind of, it was a very intensive three-hour course. So that was from Massachusetts. And what was it? Common names, the, the, the Latin names. The Latin names. Oh, no, Latin, Latin names have changed. Oh, have. Oh. Uh, and so we learned all about oh, the genus like how, and species how those and things all that start. Stuff. Yeah. The taxonomy. Yeah, okay. and there have been a lot of wetland and trees yeah. and stuff that people will talk about, and they'll call it. They're like, oh, it's called this now, oh. and things like that. And so it makes a lot more sense oh. to see it that way. And then yeah. also learning both names because. Yep. Yep. Old school train of thought versus of course, of course. nowadays. Very good. Very good. So that was put on by the Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commissions. Yeah. So well, there's not much diversity in my backyard. It's that's, all that's, oriental bittersweet. That's pretty reasonable yeah. for a really class. Bad. It's yeah. really bad. I make a motion to uh, I go remit payment for the DR. this sum of $46 to Amanda Smith. 
I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have done more bittersweet than this. All I do is wait. And again, you're really supposed to pull it out. You're you really. Got it from the roots, man. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm sorry. I just have to, because what it's doing is choking out all my ornamentals out back. Any other? And I just uh, have to do this. Bills. Too. Mm -hmm. no? okay. okay. I got several jobs this year. My sole purpose was to buy wild grapes and bittersweet. Do you want to? Oh, wild uh, grapes, another bad one. Approve we'll the see. minutes. I think we. I didn't we go over these minutes before? Were you able to vote on them? I couldn't bend it, so I can't help. I can't vote. And I, I can't think we, we went over um, which ones were October 9th and 23rd. I thought we went over some of these, but there was issues with the printer that we couldn't yeah. get to. I just printed out October 9th, so Amanda has that. Yep. Do we want it's, to? This year, it's a very, very short. It's a very, very short document. Who was at that meeting October 9th? Me and you and I think maybe Amanda. Why not? Yeah. Or maybe okay. Amanda. I was definitely there. <laughs> That's it right there. Oh, Wait, put yourself in. Yeah. Put yourself in. Oh. Yeah. So it's Amanda's just going to put herself in. Amanda, were you there? I believe. I don't think I've missed a meeting in a long time. I, yeah, put yourself in. You've been to pretty much every meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, that week I was in the habit of working at Okay. That night. Yeah, that's a short one. How many pages is that? One? One. Nothing. Actually, the only thing is Brooks. Brooksy came in. Here it is. Yeah, Kevin Brooks, two two nine East Street. So that was the first go around on the backwater onto the orchard. That was October 9th. Here yeah. we are. Uh, yeah. Just about a month later. So I think yeah. we've made. Oh, I was not there. Just kidding. I was in um, Switzerland. Oh yes. I was okay. Say, yes. I was like, this yes. Doesn't sound yes. familiar You're at overseas. all. You're all right. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's why I kept minutes. Okay. That's fine. Then. Very good. Anyway, that was the big big item of the day. Yeah, that we works. discussed about going out to 98 Cold Hill. We haven't done that yet. And again, I think we discussed the gravel permits, which we have to discuss tonight because they're really those really have to be done in the next I couple of weeks. I thought we just did the ethics test thing this year. I thought we did. I think it's good for two years. I thought no one year. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we did it at the beginning of this year. Unless I'm just blending together at the end of okay, last year. You did it just right. once. Let's, uh, Let's talk about gravel permits. Well, we, we approve uh, these minutes? Yeah. You yeah. yeah. I, I make a motion to approve. Bill? Well, I'm second wife. Well, I wrote them, so I can't approve my own minutes. Well, I mean, you can. Oh, that's right. So that's right. You weren't there. You weren't there. So we're <laughs> rule of necessity. Rule of necessity. Okay. okay. I, and how many copies should I print? Second. So all favor, favor, uh, right. Just print up two uh, copies. Two. That's plenty. Just two. Oh my God, yeah. All right, so that's done. Do you want to go the the, the twenty third minutes, or do you want to just put let's let's I'm, it's getting it's getting late. It's getting late. Oh, I do have lots of these minutes. It's three lines. Oh, is that for the special meeting? Yep. Sixteen Barton Street. Uh, we approved a continuation. All right, let's print those out too. Okay. Then. This was the year of the vines. It was, it was awful. Oh, the fungus. It was awful, fungus. Patty. It was unbelievable. It was, it was beautiful. Amazing. It was unbelievable. All right. The rock is uh, amazing on trees. You know, I thought I'd <laughs> let some of those fox grape grow because some of the grapes were pretty good size and I was going to try to make some wine out of them. But then they just took over the whole backyard. Oh, they're good. So I'm out there now with a chainsaw just chopping them up. It's too late. It's horrible, isn't All it? All right. Let's uh, kill everything. Yep. Sign those. You want. Do you, do you mind if I talk about the uh, financial updates? Go ahead. Go for it. Okay, I have a uh, financial report from the town of Granby uh, for October. It's dated uh, uh, November 7th, 2018. The only thing that stands out to me is that uh, the item number 21, Dufresne's Dam Repair, uh, Previously in May, that line item had a total of $99,000 in it. As of this month, it is $29,000. So, 
that money was taken either from, I guess, our funds or special funds that were put aside. But I think it was. I think they took the 60, put it toward the Forge Pond Dam Phase 2. I was there at the meeting to vote on that. And Town they, meeting? With the yeah, select board? Yeah, they did take it from the... Okay. Um, the money that had been set aside for the Dufresne's Pond. Oh, okay. That was what the vote was to do. Yep. So the select board. That money was not generated from uh, not conservation. Not from my understanding. No, no. That, the yeah, way that, it was that was, a, so that was appropriated. The 99 grand was appropriated about 10 or 15 years. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, for the for the and just in the budgetary. Yeah. Budget. It was so, just it was just a, it was just an imaginary number which just shifted shifted. Sure. Uh, so everybody's sources. okay with that because you know yeah. we don't really. I hear you. Get any special yep. reports that I remember yep. from the selectman yep. or the town manager. So, so I'm just making you aware that that money was transferred or paid for. I'm guessing we could say phase two reports. Yeah. Did they? Did, did that go out to bid? It did not. Okay. I got a, I got an email from Dave Leonard today, and he's waiting to hear from Mr. Martin. He hasn't heard from Mr. Martin yet. Okay. Financial reports uh, are set. Letter from Treasurer. I, I have no idea what that is. What what oh, is? Oh, well, I think that was the next next stamp. Yeah, that was that next stamp solar, and we we. I thought took we care took of that. care that of that. Care, so I don't know why that's on the. Uh, that should go away. That's taken care. Item of. six should be. Yeah. Deleted. Um, uh, what was the number for the financial accounts? Just so I can oh, mark that we sure. noted it. Uh, it was like sixty thousand. Sixty thousand, exactly. Yeah, from ninety-nine thousand dollars to oh, twenty-nine thousand. Twenty-nine oh, thousand. Twenty-nine thousand. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, seventy thousand. Yeah. 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 There were two. Yeah. two yeah. But just just make a note: there is a reduction in the uh, the accounts. It's necessary thing to. to Okay, we're, we're back on the approval re and renewal of the 2018-2019 gravel permits. Okay, who has time to go out and want those? I, I've recused myself on all of those because I've worked for Mr. Andrick. I've worked for Mr. Orlin currently on projects outside of the town. Uh, and Mr. Naraki I'm working with on a land registration parcel in Chicopee. So... I've been asked to recuse myself on those, so... Patty, can you and Amanda maybe go out I and do those? I need some time. I'm free this week. Okay, so <coughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, I can. Okay, thank uh, you. I'll be the second body to stare and smile. Okay. Yeah. And also, you've seen them before. I, I'm not very familiar. I've been I've to seen, one of them. Oh, okay, I've seen them maybe. I won't, I won't say how long ago I saw them. Doesn't doesn't matter. Just, just point of fact. You at least know the, about the, them Andrew's enough. One has an expansion. The Andrick's Oh, yes. Yeah, just to bring that to your attention. Okay. So, you may need to look at Yeah, I walked it. I did that one last year. Did you go with me? I did not. Who did I go out there with? I went out there last year. You met with Adam? Oh. Yeah, Adam toured me, toured the facility with me last year. Yeah, but that is a permanent grant expansion. So, just mm -hmm. bring it to yeah, your attention. Yeah, it was Adam we went with last year. I did. I can't remember. I think I didn't know. He has three gravel pits. I I've done a couple of them. Like over the years, yep. I've seen all yeah. of them at least yeah. once. Yep. Maybe twice. Do you guys need their phone numbers or you guys can get that? Um, if you could send me their numbers, that would be great. I'll see if I can find them. Okay. They should be on the application, no? I, I don't think so. I don't know, but the only time I have the application is when I'm here. What I suggest you do <laughs> is take the application with you on the on the walk. On okay. the side walk. I mean, I can you know, that's one problem with not having key access is yep. we can't come in during the day and catch up on paperwork. Yeah. I would recommend it. Give Amanda that entire folder. Yeah, it would be easier for you to yeah, just keep just, it all together. Yeah, yeah so don't, I don't, don't, to... don't separate. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you're, so you're in if charge you of this. Write, write the phone number. You're in charge right? of yeah. this. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, moving on. Outreach education plans of the week. I... Don't have anything. Oriental bittersweet. Huh. Ooh, bad plant. Bad, bad plant. Invasive. Uh, <laughs> no but but it, it, if it was just evasive, that would be fine. 
but it does this and it chokes out other plants. I can't believe I those. I like when it makes knots with the grapevines, you have both of them. I have, I have pieces, I should have brought a cutout. I, I had one going in, my, going in my solar panels out back and it went around the wires of the solar panels. It's going around, wrapping around the wires. I don't it's have anything here for ZBA. Yeah, yeah. Rose, and you got the, no. so, the picker vines going on? No, I, pick I don't have any ZBAs. Do you guys have anything over there for ZBAs? I have not seen any no. ZBAs. I did a okay. job okay. with Bitter Grape, and Poison Ivy. News and, and announcements. Prednisone. Oh, you're five milligrams. It's required by law. I did a taper. Oh, you got it well. That you're supposed to have <coughs> Nothing new on news and announcements and site visits to be scheduled. Yeah. No site visits other than the gravel part. Well, well, we're supposed to do 98 Cold Hill, but we'll discuss that at length next time. Yeah. You know what I should, I'm, and again, I've said this before, I'm going to invite Colette in for a little chit chat next time. Uh, do you guys have time to talk to him? Yeah. Next time? All right. Sure. I'll send him an email. I, I don't know where he stands on his building permit process. If, if, if he's got to come back to us for a certificate of compliance, uh, he said he was going to modify things for a change. I mean, we also have to do an enforcement order. He, yeah, he cut because through a wetland. Yes, yes, like yes, we, yes. He's got to do I that. mean, ideally, it'd be nice if he would just come in and. Yeah, we got two enforcement orders. We, right. we got two enforcement orders. To do. The other thing, too, Bill, you had asked me to take a look at one on Barton Street last Saturday, mm. or this past Saturday. I, I drove by Barton Street. They do have their DEP number. Oh, I, I did see that. Fire. Did you see the four inch culvert going under the. I, uh, I did look at the yeah, culvert. It's a four uh, incher. It's, it's a beauty. It is backing up from. Oh, side to side, oh, but I yes. think that again, the, the weather we've been I know, having, I know it's it's, it's a flat, you really can't it's a very judged very by it's what's not today. A time that if you yeah. have an issue, that is like yeah. this. so yeah. I, I don't really see any issues with Barn Street from the street, at least. I don't know if you, you wanted to well, bring them in to ask them questions well, it, again. Here's what we should do I think we have the file for that project, don't we? What year? Was just recently this was done year. recently, Patty. If someone could grab the file, and at least we'll have it on hand. Because right now, I know we did a special order on that, and I don't know what the special say because I don't have a copy. No, of it. It was, no they came for the building permit. Remember that? No, no, but we had issued the special order. Well, I understand that, but we had told them that they had ago. to have that, that permit with them yeah, on, oh, on I, site. I realize that. But I think if we can grab that file, yeah, we can do someone that can send it electronically. We'll pull that file cool. out. Uh, DCR Forge Pond, ongoing. It's pending. Yeah. Children's First is pending. Still pending. And, and Phillips Circle. Phillips Circle, we have not heard back from Mr. The only thing I know is when I travel down there um, from time to time, all the area that Al Weiss had called out wetland, guess what? It's now essentially underwater. So wetland reverts to wetland. Yeah, it's knows. also a drainage easement, oh, so yes. it's, it's oh, um, yes. conservation restriction yeah, drainage so, easement. So he's yeah, not going to do much too, there. He's not going to do much sale. there. Who, Nick's? Seven? Yeah. Nick's selling his house? I didn't realize that. No, he, he said he was going to after. That's NRB. That's Nick Bernier. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. I just I just saw that on the uh, on the web page. I was doing some research. research. On the research on the well, yeah, real page. estate listings. Oh, I was wow. doing some research on a project and. Uh, wow. Uh, just notice it. it whether or not it's active or not. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we'll deal that. So, that as we need to. <coughs> Another fly in the ointment. Yeah. Well, the problem is if you're doing enforcement order on that, and then you can't sell the house. That's the problem. Or it's going to make it difficult. Or it's going to so, make it difficult. Yeah. It, then it becomes a burden of the new owner. Yeah. I I think realistically, if he just leaves, it'll revert. It just leave it's going to go back to its, and, yeah. And please not, <clears throat> Nick, don't touch anything. Let the things come in. Let things grow in. Within a year, everything will It will revert. Fine. Yeah. I agree. That's the New Hampshire method. So that was the last on the uh, I mean, agenda. I just do an enforcement and have them put in the permanent markers so that can have that be the, the order of that, compliance. That would be an excellent And idea. then we have a permanent marker yeah. for the new owner. That's a super idea. And it just, That's a super you know, idea. clean slate for everyone. Yeah, super <laughs> idea. Could be super idea. Solutions to everything. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Uh, no other business. It's nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to close the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. Aye.